Hi, my name is Annie and I reside in the Seattle, Washington Back to Bach region. I'm currently 14 years old and I attend Bato High School. Now, you may be wondering, what instrument am I holding? Well, this is called the violin and I'm here to explain to you why it's the best instrument ever. For one, I'll just explain a little bit about the violin itself. On the violin, there are four strings. The lowest one that produces really rich tones is called the G string. The second string is called the D string. Third string is called the A string. And the fourth string is called the E string. On the violin, you may see this thing. This is called the chin rest and it's there to help the player put their chin on it in order to better support the violin while they're playing on it. On the violin, you can also see these four pegs and these pegs will help us tune when we want to try to make our open strings um, in tune. And you can see here I have another kind of interesting thing and this is called a fine tuner. And on full-size violin such as mine, they're generally just there to help you tune the E string. And I use a shoulder rest which just helps to better, um, which just helps me to better support and hold the instrument while I'm playing it. Playing the violin will open a world of endless different techniques to try to develop and master over time. And this is one reason why I really love playing the violin because it gives you so many routes to just expand upon your abilities and skills. One technique that I really like is called the harmonic. A harmonic produces a somewhat shrill-like and kind of very high tone sometimes, although you can play it on lower strings as well. Those are all different examples of harmonics. And I'll just play a little bit of a piece that involves the use of harmonics. You can probably hear how I played the harmonic there. It's, it's definitely very flashy in several pieces, so I really enjoy playing that. Another technique that I enjoy sometimes is called the pizzicato. The pizzicato, it may sound weird, is basically just plucking the strings while playing. I'll play a little bit from Prokofiev's first violin concerto that has a few bars measures um, with pizzicato in them. <laughs> In addition to pizzicato, you can also produce really rich dark sounds on the violin, which is something I really enjoy because a lot of people generally think to think of the violin, they think of the E string and it's really high pitched. But on the violin, you can definitely produce lower sounds. a chocolate kind of tone because it's just super smooth and it's just really lovable to play um, and when you play the violin you'll be able to you'll be exposed to lots of repertoire that has very brilliant and flashy a little bits um, in their music for example I'll play from Prokofiev's first violin concerto the second movement It just went super quick, really fast, and I was able to use not only pizzicato, but also left hand pizzicato and the harmonic. So it involves basically all of the really flashy techniques that I really enjoy playing. One of my favorite things about playing the violin, in addition to just the overall violin itself and also the techniques involved, is, being, is having the opportunity to play and 
in orchestras and chamber ensemble groups. In orchestras, you're able to collaborate with a variety of different players um, who play different instruments. And it makes you develop the ability to better collaborate with others. And also you can develop the skill set to better listen to other voices that are part of like the music. And also, if you're part of the violin section, you will be able to have the opportunity to play as concertmaster if you're able to. And speaking from experience, I loved being able to play as concertmaster. It's definitely a pretty hefty role because you have a lot of responsibility on yourself, but being able to lead your orchestra is definitely a privilege. So you'll definitely enjoy that if you play the violin. I'll just play a little bit from Brown Symphony Number no. 4. different like pieces like that which is something I definitely really like about being part of the orchestra. Overall I'm so happy to be able to play the violin and I'm glad I started when I was um, when I was a little bit younger and it's something that I really enjoyed just practicing every day and although it can get very tedious I just think about how it's worth it to be able to play with others and also compete in different competitions which is definitely a rewarding experience. Thank you for your time and I hope this video helps helped to expose you to more about the violin and encourage you to pick it up if you haven't. In addition, I hope you can um, join the Back to Bach um, movement if you haven't already done so and also follow us on social media. Thank you and bye.